we're, we're gonna have an incredible Cybertruck product for you next year. Um, it's gonna blow your mind. It'd be very innovative for an electric pickup truck to be able to glide on water, like the car chases in the spy movies. If you're an avid viewer of James Bond, you've probably heard about the Q-Boat. Anywho, if you ever wanted to get your hands on such a boat, and also want to own a cheap one, then Cybercat, the new variant of Cybertruck, will be an interesting suggestion for you. So, what's so special about this car that's got people curious? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. But before we begin, please show your support by subscribing to our channel and ring the bell so you won't miss any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. Musk mentioned in a tweet that the Tesla Cybertruck will float for a while. This tweet came as a response to a question by a Twitter user about Cybertruck's water weighting capacity. According to Tesla, the Cybertruck will be a rugged, tough, do-it-all vehicle. So imagine being able to drive to a nearby lake, convert it into a catamaran boat, then explore the waters for a day on the lake. If Cybertruck is released, a war god named Cybercat will be like a tornado taking over the mind of Cybertruck owners. Developed by TSWLM Electric Vehicles Incorporated, a Seattle-based company owned by engineer Anthony Diamond, the Cybercat consists of a kit of accessories that allows the Tesla Cybertruck to be placed on two inflatable hulls equipped with 50 kilowatt electric outboard motors and from there, enjoy the ride out into the open sea as the supercar speeds along like a real motorboat. Besides the frame and all the floaty parts, the Cybercat package includes sensors that read power data, pontoon pressure, and other pertinent information that ensures your electric truck doesn't become an oversized anchor stuck to the bottom of the seafloor. It also comes with built-in jacks and electric outboard motors. So, how does the Cybercat work exactly? The accessory is equipped with 1 to 5 50 kilowatt outboard motors powered by the Cybertruck's battery pack. Once it's on the water, the vehicle's wheels will retract out of the water for a quick takeoff, and then its electric outboard motors, pontoons, and hydrofoils will fold down. By then, it would only take 5 to 10 minutes to convert from land vehicle to boat. Moreover, Cybercat is designed to precisely maneuver the wheel rotation of the Cybertruck when on shallow waters or around docks. When combined with the vehicle's adaptive air suspension, the folding and inflatable pontoons give 12 inches of surface clearance out of the water. In the water, the combined electric outboard motors, pontoons, and hydrofoils fold down for quick takeoff. If the water gets too shallow, you can just pull up the aforementioned pieces and just drive through it with the Cybertruck's tires. No more sandbar issues. The motors and hydrofoils are positioned below the tailgate so it can be up to so it can be up or down while racing through the water. This gives you complete access to whatever you need to carry on the water, scuba gear, skis, or just sunbathing in the bed. But there's more. Sprinkled around the bed are both L-Track and T-Slot fixtures. These can be used to attach a rack for holding fishing poles or skis to have more room in the bed. But the fun doesn't stop there. You can even create your own cyber island. Tesla has been playing up the fact that the tri-motor Cybertruck can offer over 500 miles of range on a single charge, so you can immerse yourself in the endless beauty of the ocean continuously for about 13 hours before having to recharge. But what about if you're in the water, but the charge is running low? The batteries are rechargeable with any standard marina electrical connection. And don't forget, there are no fumes with electric power and minimal noise. According to the company, Elon Musk confirmed Cybercat will go 0 to 60 in 1.2 seconds in the water. However, it won't be possible to use the autopilot for recreational purposes, which is one of the strengths of the Elon Musk designed supercar. The truck, which could weigh as much as 10,000 pounds whenever it finally rolls off the production line, will be capable of speeds around 22 knots or 25 miles per hour hour when hooked up to the Cybercat. Or if you opt in for the even more outlandish Cybercat foiler, which transforms your angular pickup into a floating hydro foil, the firm promises speeds around 35 knots or 40 miles per hour. Imagine how fast the Cybertruck's enormous windshield wipers will have to move as it keeps up with 40 miles per hour ocean spray. For comparison, your boat's average cruise speed 
will be 21 miles per hour. So, Cybercat is faster than normal boats and looks more professional. While the average cost of a new boat is around 60 to 75,000 US dollars, to turn your Cybertruck into a capable amphibious vehicle, the company is asking around $22,900 to $32,900. Pricing varies based on how many 50 kilowatt motors you'd like to propel the truck once it's floating. Potential customers can add up to five electric motors for a combined 335 horsepower. The Cybercat hydrofoil version costs anywhere from 35,400 to 42,900, but delivers improved performance, speed, and range thanks to the hydrofoils. You may have to pay a little more for Cybercat, but in return, you can go onshore and underwater whenever you'd like. This would be great for people living on the islands near Seattle. Skip traffic at the ferry two times a day. Now, is there any risk if your Cybercat falls into the water? The Cybertruck won't go underwater, but it's still capable of hitting the seas. While Tesla's pickup truck won't be able to turn into a super cool battleship, it still has some use in the water. You may be saying to yourself, hmm, an electric car that's in the water eh, usually doesn't mix. Tesla uses a skateboard configuration, meaning the batteries and the motors are protected from the bottom. Until the car itself fills up with water, it should be safe. Thus, most moving parts will continue to work and it can become buoyant. Tesla put its cars through rigorous tests, including flood testing to see if the car can withstand that type of damage. If caught in a tough situation, the car's wheels essentially turn into oars by rotating its wheels back and forth in a flood or high water situation. Even with its capabilities, Musk does not recommend using this vehicle as a boat, but rather using additional accessories to turn it into the perfect Cybercat. It's really exciting to look forward to the Cybertruck launching in 2023, and then you can explore the ocean with your own Cybercat. Moreover, in order for Cybercat to take to stay out of the sea for a few months, Tesla can develop more salt batteries, a battery that can use the ocean to charge batteries. What do you think about Cybercat? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Otherwise, that's it for today's episode. We sincerely thank you for watching and for all of your support of our channel, Tesla Car World. As always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs and green technology. And be sure to leave a comment down below to tell us what you thought about today's content. Once again, we thank you so much from all of us here. We hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.